Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we've been discussing the sacraments of the Catholic Church, and so far, we've talked about reconciliation, baptism, the Eucharist, and confirmation. Now, the sacrament of matrimony, also known as marriage. Specifically, what kinds of things would make it unwise to get married, even if you technically can? Well, to start with, many people rush into a marriage too fast, or for impure motives, and those kinds of marriages tend to end unhappily. Often that's a result of one or both participants just forgetting to consider the character, habits, and dispositions of the person they're marrying. They don't look for long-lasting and solid virtues when they marry. Instead, they're carried away by characteristics that are only pleasing for a time, such as personal appearance, physical fitness, sexual attraction, and so on. Then when those things fade away, so does the reason why the two of them are together. In fact, it doesn't always even take that long. If you're only marrying because of something that's not going to last, it may be unwise to marry. Christians shouldn't marry unless they understand their faith first. At the very least, they should understand it enough to teach the essentials to someone else. This is because marriage involves being open to the possibility of bearing children, and bearing children also involves raising them in the faith. It would become virtually impossible to raise children in the faith until you understand it yourself. So. While parents don't need to know everything, they should at least be able to provide a basic list of the dogmas of their faith and a simple defense of them. Children ask these kinds of questions at a very early age and stop asking them when they become teenagers usually, so this is one responsibility where it pays to prepare in advance. Motives for getting married are good and worthy when your ultimate goal is to do the will of God and fulfill the ends of the sacrament as he established it. Next time, is there any way to get out of a marriage? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.